All right, everyone. Today we're going to be checking out the Prunus J369. This radio is like a jack of all trades. It's the Swiss Army knife of the radio world, if you will. Let's check it out. And as always, we open this puppy up with the Ocaso strategy. It's an awesome knife. Here's a look at what came inside the packaging. So we have the manual for the radio. So like we have the cord for charging, USB-C. No unit itself. I like that color. It's a nice orange color. All right, people, so we have the Prunus plugged in right there micro USB-C and then plugged into the wall here too with regular USB. But there's also multiple other ways to charge the uh, Prunus J369 hand crank radio as well as you see. Multiple options. Gotta love it. And through the magic of time and space. Speech action better place to test out the radio and some of its functions. So I'd say that's volume probably 40%. That's on the FM dial. Sounds nice and crisp, nice and clear. So I think being at the beach gives us the perfect opportunity to show off the Prunus Radio's ability to solar charge. So right on the top, we have our little solar charging panel. It's gonna last for quite a while too. It says up to 25 years. To charge the radio, we're simply gonna make sure that the switch is set right here on the side, off from the battery setting. When the radio is charging, you're also gonna get a little charge indicator there. That light is gonna appear all the way to the right, where it says charge. Another cool feature out of many of the J369, weather band action. That's the WB. Let me show you what that sounds like. Lows in the mid 50s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. It's about 40%. Wednesday, mostly sunny with a 20% chance volume. of showers. Highs in the mid 80s. Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers. Lows in the mid-60s. Now when it comes to charging this, you want to make sure that it's off of the AA and onto the um, other setting here. AA is just going to be for when we're using batteries. Now the Prunus is able to charge other devices, but uh, you typically only want to do that kind of in like an emergency or, you know, if you really, really need to get that power. So I think the lights will test out at home because it's a little too bright. And while the SOS feature, I don't think we want to freak anybody out. So we'll do that at home too. Now that we're home, because you know, you can't really stay at the beach all day. I mean, I guess you could, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and charge this with the crank. So again, it's housed in there nice and firmly. Pop that puppy up. There we go. We just want to crank away like this for three to five minutes. And that's going to generate plenty of power for us. 
All right, one of the things I didn't show you at the beach was the AM band. So let's go ahead and turn that to AM. That short got a fastball middle. Matt Buehling got a cutter. It didn't do a whole lot of cutting, and he rifled that ball right past Braxton Garrett into center field for a base hit. Tigers in business here with nobody out top of third. It's about 40% up. He shot up the middle, and that's going to be grabbed by the shortstop. Wendell flips to second one, arises relay to first. Wow. Arrived I like the AM coming in nice and crisp. Excellent play there. My and because we're home and we're not on the busy beach, let's go ahead and do that SOS now. Here we go. Wow. So that, uh, that definitely will get your attention. And as you saw, that makes the uh, makes the uh, light strobe as well. SOS function. There you go. Welcome to the darkness. <laughs> now for this, we are going to show you the light. Ready? Three, two, one. Power. Those are towels, by the way. But yeah, yeah, just kind of pointing it at the wall. Those lights it up nice. Those are herbs. And whatnot down there, right down there. Okay, so that light is actually pretty bright. That will get the job done for pretty much anything you need. But there's more. But wait, there's more. They also have a handy dandy kind of like reading light or a lamp up here. It's right where the uh, solar cell is. You just have to lift up on it. You can't see because it's dark, but bam! Illumination. So let's go ahead and turn that light off. So that is just with the kind of the reading lamp or the lamp itself. And again, you move that down and it will turn off on its own. So that's pretty sweet. What they do is they show it kind of in the um, instruction manual, kind of sitting it up on the side like that and then placing the book down to be able to read. And you can really see how that would work. Let me show you. Here I have the book Rocket Men I've been reading. So as you see, I have it just kind of situated next to the light and it casts out enough light to be able to shed some light on this book, be able to read it a little bit. So pretty nice for a book light too. It's a great book, by the way, Astronauts. So yeah, you can read it, look at that. Now, by comparison, let's just go ahead and push this down, and light is going to go off. Bam. Without light. With light. People, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Hey, make sure to check that link below to pick up your own Prunus radio, eh? Hey, if you're new in town, consider subscribing. Until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.